Be right there, I just need to make a quick copy. Mr. Warshaw. All right, before I approach an injured patient, I have to think of scene safety first, and there's five things to consider. Number one, I'm number one, not Mr. Warshaw. If I go in there, whatever hurt him could hurt me as well, so I've got to think of my own safety. Number two, what happened to you? If I look around, I can see some clues as to what might have happened. Number three, don't get any on me. And I can see from here he's got some blood, so I'm gonna get two gloves out of this first aid kit. Number four, are there any more? So I wanna look in the conference room and around, and I only see one patient. And number five, dead or alive. If there's more than one patient, I have to do some triage. And since there's only one and I can hear his sounds in the background, I know he's okay. So now I can approach him and check him out. Mr. Warshaw, are you all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. stay right there. Since I spoke to him, I know that his airway is open and he's breathing. Mr. Warshaw, I'm just going to check real quick to see, see how strong your pulse is. Okay. Okay, I can feel a heartbeat, so I know his heart's working, and I'm looking around. I see some bleeding right there, but it doesn't look too severe. Um, next thing, I want to look for any deformities, any disfigured arms or legs. I don't see any, and his environment looks safe. So I've checked A, B, C, D, and E. Next, we're going to move on. Mr. Warshaw, can you, t real quickly, can you tell me your full name? I know that sounds a little weird. Go ahead uh, and stay right there. My name my name's Jeff Warshaw. Okay, do you know where you are right now? Uh, I'm on the floor. Okay. Do you know about what time of day it is? Uh, I think it's about th uh, 3 o'clock. Okay. You have a little bleeding there. Can you put your hand on that and just hold that? Yeah. Okay. And what were you just doing? I, I, was, I was making a copy. Okay, you're making a copy. Um, th what hurts the most right now? Uh, my, my head. Okay. It hurts. On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? Uh, I would say about a, about a 7. Okay. What I've been doing as I've been asking questions is watching Mr. Warshaw's chest rise and checking his respiration rate. He's breathing 14 times a minute, and his heart rate is 64 times a minute, which are both within the normal range. He was able to answer all, all four level of responsiveness questions, so his level of responsiveness is ANO times 4. And if I check his skin color, temperature, and moisture, it's pink, warm, and dry. So right now all his vital signs are within a normal range. I'm going to move on and do the sample questions and a head to toe to find out what else might be wrong with them. So real quickly, Mr. Warshaw, can you tell me, walk me back through what happened before I got here? I was, uh, I was making a copy, and, uh, and the next thing I knew, um, I hit my head on the copy machine and, okay. and, and fell onto the floor. Okay. Did you lose consciousness at any point? Do you remember seeing stars, or do you remember the whole thing? I don't. I don't think I lost consciousness. Okay. I, I, I think I remember the whole thing. All right. Does anything hurt other than where you're pushing right now? Um, yeah, my, my forehead hurts. Too. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check you out to make sure you have no other injuries. Okay. So I'm going to touch your head, and I just want you to let me know if anything hurts. Okay. okay. No. No. Uh, yeah, that hurts. Okay. Right there. No. Real quick, can you open your mouth? Do you feel like you lost any teeth? No. Okay. And can you take that away? Okay. Some pressure on that small cut seems to be controlling the bleeding. Would you keep keep that right on there, sure. Mr. Warshaw? Okay. Real quickly, would you mind sitting up against the copy machine here? Okay. Thanks. Can you do follow along with me real quick? I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders up. Any pain? No. Okay. I'll hold that for just a minute since I've got a gloved hand. I feel okay doing that. Can you put your arms out to the side and bend at the elbow and touch your shoulders? 
Any pain? No. Okay. Can you wiggle both your fingers? No problem? Okay, would you go ahead and take that again? Um, if you, I want you to take two real deep breaths. Any problems there? No. Okay. Um, real quickly, can you straighten that leg out for me? Yeah. Can you bend both your legs at your knees? Any pain in your hips? No. Any pain in your knees? No. Okay, real quickly, can you wiggle your feet around? Yeah. And can you feel me pushing in I on your toes? Okay. So it looks like nothing else is wrong with you. I've just got a couple questions left. Anything that hurts other than your head? Um, no. All right. Do you have any allergies to medications or um, any other food allergies that I should know about? No. Okay. Uh, how about any medications you're taking right now? Any prescriptions or over-the-counter medications we should know about? Not taking anything right now. Okay. And then, you know, I'm not, I'm not the police or anything, but have you had any coffee or anything else to drink today? No. Okay. Good. Um, when was the last time you went to see a doctor? Uh, about a month ago. Okay. Was everything okay? Yeah. And do you have any history of heart conditions, asthma? No. Nope. Anything we should know about? No. Nope. Okay. And then what's the last thing you had to eat or drink today? Uh, I had a, a turkey sandwich for lunch. Okay. And once again, could you walk me through the, what just happened to you? Sure. I, I came down the hallway to make a copy, and I put the paper on the machine, and when I went to make the copy, the next thing I knew, I had, had kind of lurched forward into the copy machine and hit my head and, and then fell onto the floor. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that happened. Well, all your vital signs seem normal. I'm going to get one more set just to make sure they haven't changed. Okay. And right now, it seems like the only thing that happened is you have a little bruise right there on your head and a little cut. So, okay. so we'll get that all taken care of. Okay. Hey, Mr. Orshaw. Yes. Would you mind copying this for me? Sure. No problem. Thanks. Be right back. Yes. You know, when it comes to school safety, nothing's more important than the appropriate attire, and copy rooms can be one of the most overlooked areas of a school when it comes to maintaining a safe school environment. The next time you see a school staff member wearing a tie near a copy machine, won't you please intervene? It's so important that we all choose safety over fashion so we don't end up with ties that look like this. Thanks for your help.